In this episode of Fun Time with Pepper, astronaut Pepper learns about the planet Venus. Go with Pepper to explore all of the wonderful sights and interesting facts about Venus. Let us know if Venus is one of your favorite planets. Fun Time with Pepper. Hello everybody, today we're going to visit Venus. It's one of my favorite planets. I've always been very curious about Venus. Hello Venus. Pepper, thank you for coming to visit me. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I would be happy to. Tell me about your size and composition. My size is just slightly smaller than Earth's. My mass is about 81.5% compared to Earth. My density suggests that I'm mostly made of metal and rock. I That's fascinating! What's your atmosphere like? My atmosphere is incredibly thick and made mainly of carbon dioxide. There's some trace amounts of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen. On top of that, my clouds are made of sulfuric acid, forming a highly effective layer that traps heat. Maybe it's time to go to the surface. I wonder how hot it is on Venus. I'm the hottest planet in the solar system with an average temperature of around 800 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the sun. Don't deactivate. Obviously, I need my heat shield. Heat shield activated. Perfect. What about Venus's rotation? One rotation is 243 Earth days, which is longer than my year of 225 Earth days. Interestingly, I rotate in the opposite direction of most of the other planets in the solar system, which we called retrograde rotation. Hey, what does your surface look like? My surface is a mix of volcanic plains, highlands, and massive volcanic structures. My surface has fewer impact craters than you might expect because my volcanic activity resurfaces the planet. Are there any active volcanoes? Yes, Venus has the most volcanoes than any other planet in the solar system, with thousands spread across my surface. Mat Mons is the tallest, rising 8 kilometers above the surface. Venus's greenhouse effect seems intense. What caused it? Venus experiences a runaway greenhouse effect. Water vapor in the atmosphere was likely broken apart by solar radiation, with hydrogen escaping into space. The remaining carbon dioxide created a feedback loop, trapping immense heat and preventing cooling. What about the weather? The weather on Venus is extreme. In the upper atmosphere, winds reach hurricane speeds, circulating over the planet in just four Earth days. The phenomenon is called superrotation. Near the surface, though, Winds are much slower, but still pack a punch due to the dense atmosphere. Hey, what's the deal with the thick cloud layers? The clouds are made of sulfuric acid droplets. They are so thick that visible light cannot penetrate, making the surface impossible to see without radar. These clouds reflect about 75% of sunlight, which is why I'm so bright in the sky. Does Venus have moons like Earth? Surprisingly, no. I don't have any moons, and Earth scientists really don't know why. One theory is that one moon may have formed but was later destroyed by tidal forces or gravitational interaction. Has Venus been explored much? Absolutely. The Soviet Venera missions were the first to land on me, with Venera 9 sending back surface images in 1975. The NASA Magellan mission in the 1990s mapped most of my surface using radar. How do scientists map Venus's surface? Because of my thick clouds, scientists on Earth use radar for image mapping of my surface. NASA's Magellan mission was responsible for 98% of mapping my surface, revealing geological features like volcanoes, plains, and ridges. Venus, thanks for sharing your time. My pleasure, Pepper. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. Goodbye. Have a great flight back to Earth. 
Wow, Venus is so intriguing. Captain Pepper, signing off.